everyone, this is Chris from Two Ton Gaming, and this week we're going to do something a little new, kind of new, new for us at least. As you guys know, we have a couple of Let's Play out and a couple of different games, but this we're going to do a full play, and this is XCOM Enemy Within. I've beat this game on all settings at least twice now, and I thought, what better to do than to show you one of my favorite games of all time through a full play. So a full play is just like a Let's Play, so far I play the full game. I don't edit it at all, and uh, this might be a problem for me because I tend to hone in on games and kind of just stop talking. I'm going to try to stay talking, maybe sing a couple of really terrible songs for everyone because that's what I'm known to do. This is the first mission. I already picked the settings. I'm playing on normal, I think. I'm pretty sure I picked normal. Uh, this is the tutorial. You don't have to do the tutorial. Normally I don't, but screw it. Might as well. So let's do this thing. Roger, People are like, why do you like this game so much? I was asked Negative. not too recently. They stream okay. it a lot. Set or used to. Sort of down nearby. And I am a sucker for turn-based strategies, and this this game is how you're supposed to do turn-based strategies. I love everything about it. So you start off, for those who don't know anything about XCOM, with a four-man mini-squad of unranked or unpromoted soldiers. So they're all squaddies. And after that, they become recruits, I think. As you play through the tutorial, you'll notice that I'm pretty sure no matter what you do, three of your members die. I don't know this for a fact, but every time I've done it, I've lost at least two people. Central. And you see on the back of each person, they have a flag representing where they're from. So we got American. Starting on the left, we had American. Oh, and I think it was Israel. Japan, and I didn't see the last one. Russia, it looks like. So this is the game. And as you can see, I can walk to here, and the yellow line is where I can sprint. But if you sprint, you use up your whole turn. So I'm just going to say where it says to go, which is behind this rock. And then, you can move again. Chavez! This is go to the debris. His name is Chavez, but I thought he had a. An Israeli flag. I could have been wrong. Could be an Argentinian. So, right now. Since you're unranked, you just have your basic setup of kind of crap armor with kind of crap guns. As the game progresses, everything you can research and get better stuff, so. And normally, once I get the chance to get a six man team, I usually go healer, assault, two heavies, two snipers, or maybe a mech and a heavy and a sniper. But I'm going to try something new this time. I don't know what what configuration I'm going to go with. I'm definitely going to have an assault, though. Assault's my favorite thing. Another thing I really like about this game is you can rename any of your troops whatever you want. You give them your nickname, so I usually don't change the nickname. I usually name my guy Priest because it's an old nickname people used to call me. The only thing you can't do is change their class. So once they get assigned to a role, which is either sniper, assault, support, heavy, that's what they are unless you make them a mech warrior or something like that. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming. You got a lot of blood here. I found another one of the recon team. Oh, what's left of it. This doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. He has been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated. One thing I don't really like about this game is not only do you have to maintain your soldiers, is that you can get a soldier all the way up to whatever the highest rank is. I don't remember general, maybe. That's all right. Colonel? I think it's Colonel. I can't remember off the top of my head. I haven't played in a few months now. And they die, they're gone forever. You can't resurrect your guy. So you'll notice what I do is once I get a squad I like, 
if I fail a mission or I lose a guy, I'll restart the mission. So this full play may be several episodes long. I'm hoping not. Don't want to look like a scrub and constantly restarting, but I don't like losing guys. And the thing I know from the last time I played is I'm going to want a lot of extra guys and a lot of extra gear for something that happens later on. I won't ruin it for you, but definitely want those extra people. I didn't have it the first time. I've tried to record this once before, and unfortunately, my game got corrupted. And I lost everything, and I didn't want to release unfinished footage. So I was like, F it. I'll just restart. But it took a while to restart, because I was like halfway through the game, and I didn't feel like restarting then, so... In the mood now. And as you can tell, I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, but the scrolling text... As it indicates, on September 20th to the 21st, starting at 6 p.m. Okay, Eastern Standard Time, we're doing a 24-hour charity event for Extra Life. And if you're from the Michigan area or the mid-Michigan area, we're specifically raising money for Hurley Hospital, where a lot of two-ton gamers were born. So if you guys want to stop by for that, we'll be playing a bunch of different games, PD2, League, of Legends, maybe Smite, who knows what else, a bunch of games, board games as well. So there'll be a lot of watch spread across a few different channels. So please join us and hopefully you can donate to a great cause. So this is where they take control, they're like, you need to go here, you need to go here, you need to go here. Which is stupid because you end up losing a person right away. This is not how I would have approached this mission. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. Hope no one liked Delta 3. Spoiler alert. Hostile! Hostile! Oh, nope, we lost a Russian. He won't be the first, last one to die. Boom! You know what kind of sucks about this is those guys will never hit for that much. Would not move him here. Get ready to fire. So, uh, as you see in the hit marker, it shows my percentages of hitting. 88% is pretty good, but I've missed on a 99%. Uh, down here at the right, where this little box and alien skull is, it says how many people I can see. I can only see him, so I'll just shoot him. Got a critical hit, so it ended up killing him. So they want me to throw a grenade, which does an automatic 3 damage if it lands near uh, any enemy inside the circle radius. So here's a circle radius. I'm just going to lob it right at his feet. And you can miss these, like, you could have a bad throw. Boom, there's two down. But then we get flanked. And you're dead. This game's all about flanking and maneuvering. Now, sometimes flanking's a good idea, sometimes a terrible idea, because we got Fog of War in this game. So you could run <laughs> too far and uh, not make it. Or run directly into a group of way powerful enemies. There you go, here's our lone survivor. So I think he gets an instant promotion. Roger that, Delta. Ooh, Secure the bodies it. and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate. Yeah, it's a bit louder. <laughs> There's a bunch of different enemy types. Uh, those are called sectoids. What I just fought. 
I think we find that out later. I must not be on normal, because I can only pick two things, so I'm going to up it to normal. And space aircraft for weapons cost less, I care less about that. Laboratory is 50% less. Foundry and officer training schools cost 50% less. Watch off interrogations, instant. All that money. I'm going to go to Europe. Or I might just restart because I just got a good one. Screw it, don't want to restart. I'll just up the difficulty later. Completely fine one to pick anyway. I've I've been in every country. They're all about the same. Africa's kind of neat because you get the the bonus per month, which I'll explain after the end of the first Whatever month. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. Can I skip. Oh, I can skip this. So that's much crap. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I don't know why the cutscenes are so loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Yay, promotion! So this is your layout for the game. You can click individually on the squares, or you can click up here. But you have to do what they want at first. So the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. So see the barracks, we got all this, this area is all the barracks, this is just obviously static. You see what some soldiers are doing. View, we got an Argentinian guy who's got promoted to a heavy. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say I might just rename this guy something else. So now he's a squaddy. He was a nothing. I think he was a recruit, and now he's a squaddy. Then Corporal Sergeant, Lieutenant Captain, Major Colonel. So I was heard about Colonel. So as a heavy, they automatically get rockets to start off with. You don't get an option. Everything else you get to pick, except for Major, where you get something, you're forced to pick whatever. Uh, I rename all my my top two teams. I usually have a team alpha, a team beta, or whatever. I choose one and two, whatever. And then I have extra guys in case one of them is hurt. Because guys can get hurt and not die. And they have to spend time in the med bay or whatever. Research! Hello, Commander. Hello, my name is stupid Dr. Doctor. Yeah, I don't care. This lady controls all the interrogations, all the research, all the autopsies, stuff like that. Uh, I forget what she wants us to do. As you see, each project takes eight days. I don't remember which one does what. I'll just alien materials. Will Thank be fine. you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Yeah, thanks, lady. Commander, to mission control. Mission control. Sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Sounds Farewell, like it. Commander. I'm actually going to the barracks and show you right now. So here's Rodrigo Chavez. I understand he's Argentinian, but I rename my guy regardless of where they're from to one of my friends' names. So to do that, you just go to customize, the first name. These, my derricks are always my heavies. So this one will be Derek Wells. enough change what color skin is usually I stick my heavies in a uh, helmet of some sort
Don't know why I do this. Uh, I do, though. Don't make him a ginger. His favorite color is orange. So there's three different helmets to pick from. That one's kind of dope, I guess. There's no Emmer deck, though, yet, which is fine. Like I said, his favorite color is orange, so I'm going to make him orange. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I like it, at least. And if you go to his loadout, you can change his loadout, but I don't have any extra gear, so I can't. And abilities, which you can't really change, but you can see what they are. Uh, another thing you can't do is change the sex of the person. So you see, I have Casey, Jiang uh, Li Liang, probably slaughter that name, who's female. Marty Johnson, who's female. Lauren, who's female. Sandra, who's female. And the guy, then another girl, and the guy, girl. And a lot of chicks. Not that that matters whatsoever. So this is mission control. The enemy is testing globe. our capabilities, Jeez. Commander. Why? We've gotten wow. reports of simultaneous. That's nice. Uh, this is a abduction report, as it says. So you go to view abductions, and here are things you have to consider. What's the panic level of the country you're going to at? The mission difficulty doesn't really matter at all to me. In my opinion, there's not much difference between easy and very hard, and the reward. Now. Four scientists may not seem like anything now, but if I keep picking other rewards and I don't have any scientists to do any research, I'm boned. They got one panic, and I get four scientists. And in Hong Kong, I get 200. Money is good, I'm not going to lie. But I think I'm going to go for the scientist. Understood. Understood. So I am going to edit this. Oh, apparently can't. I was going to drop her for someone else, but it doesn't look like I can. I was going to take another dude. Whatever. Punch mission. Strike one. Prepare for landing. And if you're curious where we're located in Michigan, you can tell there's the mitten. We're right about there. And I know I said I like to restart missions in case people die, but unless Derek specifically dies. I could really care less about everyone else, but I do want to get them a kill. Because if I can get them a kill, I can get them classed. Or typically, if they get a kill, they level up once. At least from recruit to squatty. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. So basically, they want us to go in the building first. So if you, you can click on anyone, I mean, not right now, because they're forcing me to do it. They want my guy to go over here and look in the building. So we will. Send him over here. Good. Now open the door. And you can you need to open the door, you can just click on it. I'm just going to click on it. I usually don't use the keyboard for this game very often. Unless I'm changing the angle of the map. You can do this with Q and E. Alright, now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. So they want my main guy to get to the roof. There's two ways to do this. You can take the ladder over here, or you can take the drain pipe. Oh, go for the drain pipe. Alright, so they're forcing me to sprint all the way up here for no reason. We're sure where to move him eventually, but I like to shoot first. Now the enemy saw me, so they go to cover. They don't get a chance to shoot, but... They're in cover now. Out. 
I'm gonna run this chick way up here. And I will move Johannes Johnson. Or Johnson. But she's Norwegian, so I'm guessing there's a soft J on that. So they get to go because I ran out of moves. Shooting at my main guy, broke his cover. Not sure why I get to go now, but I'm not going to argue. So I can fire a rocket if I want, I can throw a grenade at them on, or I can just shoot them. I'm just going to see what shooting is. 68% if I can get some damage on him. I'm going to try that. Boom! He's dead. Now it's the Irishman's turn. I'll run to here. I got eyes on. 34% chance. Not great, but I'll, I'll see. Missed. Not a big deal. I'll move her up. 70% chance. We'll try that. Boom. She's dead. So, I didn't want to talk over that guy. Rude. Uh, uh, but there's a move called Overwatch, which basically means if they come within sight range, my guy would take a pop shot at them. Yes, and, uh, so that's what I got this chick doing right here, this little lady. Uh, now I'm going to split up my team into teams of two. So there's, we can go left and we can go right. So I'm going to just send two people right. Which will be these two, the heavy and that one, and then the Irishman. And her will come up here. It's a little dangerous sending her up that far because I don't know what's on the boat, but I'll take the gamble. Alright, let's see. We'll come up here. There you go, there's two more sectoids. They're falling back to a safer location. Makes sense. Just now I don't have eyes on. I'll just put them in Overwatch for now. Put him into full cover. She doesn't need a kill, because she's already got one. But I will move her up. Into full cover. I'll move her into full cover. Full cover, half cover is just a likelihood of giving me extra, uh... Not armor, but... Likelihood of not being hit. You see, it didn't really help... So they want me just to shoot them with a rocket, but I want to get some more kills. Hopefully they let me do it. And they won't, so I got a rocket launcher. And just like a regular gun, that can miss. That's mission one. Well, I guess technically two, but the first one's a tutorial, I don't really count it. We come back, we debrief, oh, check out a promotion. But she's wounded for four days. So she's a sniper. That's nice. I kinda have to give her that. Uh... Fair enough. Good work, everyone else. Artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. Commander, we have an incoming so transmission loud. from the Council. The Council is the world, like, leaders. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. 
We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Uh -huh. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. There we go. Each sub turret increases research speed by 20%. Adjacent bonus is 10%. Not really a big deal. So the panic went up in Asia. So not just China, but all of Asia. But we got four scientists. The council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. The situation room provides constant monitoring of so you see Japan, India, and Australia, which is, I guess, part of the Asia part, all went up by one, and China went up by two. So that sucks. Uh, Germany has a satellite because that's where the bases are. Uh, our base is located. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process Yay. can take several days. Alright, well, I... Okay, they're making me do this. There we go, uh... When you're scanning for things, day, days pass pretty quickly. Uh, my chick's now out of the... Or she's returned. She's now recovered. So now I have a female sniper on the team. Once again, female, male. Matters not. Uh, just means I have to name her something different. Usually I make my brother uh, one of the snipers. He's a great shot in real life. I'll just switch it to someone else that I know. Uh, or I may not. I may not even use her. Who knows? And the, one of my research projects, the research for the AM materials, is done. So I can just sign new Commander, research. With this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. Basically, she's just asking if she, she can dissect things, which I don't care. She can have at it. Thank you. Commander, to You're welcome. Commander, to engineering. So. Autopsy and capturing and interrogating things get us new armor, and I think weapons, maybe, to be researched. I don't quite remember. Doesn't matter. To engineering! Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. No, right now, bro. Engineering. No, Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Sure. So nano vests are pretty dope. Uh, they add extra armor. Med kits are nice if you have a healer. So we'll make one med kit for now. It's cheap, twenty-five. Sure. Nano vests. We'll make a couple of these. Fabrication of the nano. Commander to the barracks. So those are the insta build. There's not any time in between. So we can be soldiers. We can go to loadout and say I don't want him to have a grenade. I can have him have an anal vest. Which I do, because everyone else will have a grenade. Now, I might change this later, but for right now I want him to stay alive, so I'm going to protect him as best as I can. And since I don't have medic, I don't think anything else but medics can use things. So we're going to edit her. We're going to customize her. Oh, goodness. What name to use? Oh, I got a female friend who loves shooting guns. We'll make that her. There you go. Good job, Commander. Got it covered. Sure, she's white. None of this other stuff really matters. I forget what color she likes. But black always looks nice. Hmm. 
No, someone wanted me somewhere. Situation room, so we'll go there. Commander, the council has requested a word. Requested word? Alright. Commander, yes? our sources have identified a number of reports regarding alien involvement in the transportation and dispersal of an unknown substance near civilian population centers. Uh -huh. It is imperative that you investigate this activity and determine the purpose of the alien material. Uh -huh. We will transmit further details Can't get momentarily. Them. Thanks, Hoss. Sounds like we better get to it. Yep, yep. So I'd say XCOM Enemy Unknown, which is what this is, just with all the expansion packs. It's about 15, 20 hour game. I'm like, I mean, you can drag it out forever if you want. And they've had three expansions since then. This is the latest one, Enemy Within, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's right. A lot of content, a lot more armor sets, weapons, enemies, because at first you only fought aliens and you captured them and interrogated and all that stuff, but in this there's people trying to gain power through alien weaponry and such, you have to stop them too and that's fun, I actually really like that. Now I can clear the units, which I'm gonna do. I'll uh, this dude. We'll launch this. Dropship has arrived. The next deployment site is in the UK. So there's different mission types than find and kill. There's a rescue people, escort, kind of escort. It's rescue escort. And then there's one where you just have to click on civilians to save them. There's one where you have to deactivate bombs. So you probably didn't hear that because I was talking over. These are meld canisters, melds used to upgrade your people biologically, kind of cool. So you want to collect these whenever you see them. Boom, collected. It's just that easy. I want to try to get this guy a kill. I want to try to get everyone a kill. I want people to be upgraded. And then lastly, this guy, we'll put him right here. So you see, I put everyone into Overwatch that I could. That's what I like to do. My first round gives aliens a chance to come close enough to me so I can make a, a good counter plan. As I said, this is a turn-based strategy game. So as you saw right there, this guy can hear something that way. So we're going to meander on over. We'll put him here. And he ran outside, so. But I know where he is, so I'm gonna put my guy into full cover here. And not crappy cover like he was in. I'll put her over here. Snipers can't move and then go into Overwatch unless you give an ability that allows them to. So I'm gonna have her hunker down, which makes her a little harder to hit. I think people inside the circle are harder to hit too, but I can't quite remember. Uh, da, da, da. who's going? How about you? How far can you make it? As you, as you would guess, heavies can't really go as far as some of the other classes. We got heavier armor on, weighs them down. So I'll move this guy over here. Give him some half cover. Move him over here. They moved, I was shooting. Oh, he hit. He lit someone up. He lit the Irishman up, which sucks. Oh, he lit up the random guy. I just added. So I can see him from here, but there's only a 40%, 46% chance. I'm going to try to get him a little closer. 63, I'm going to go for it. He's dead. 
So he just earned himself a promotion, so that's awesome. I don't like her outside. But I'm gonna guess zoom out a little bit. But the other aliens you know the males are over there. That's my guess though. I don't want to funnel my guys. I'll move her here first. I'll move her here. Anderson's a little beat up, but I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, he's just random. I'd like to get him killed and see him live, though. I'm not heartless. I... I'm not heartless, I swear. Oh. Once again, as you see, I have this pattern, two, two people, a little squad, two people somewhere else. Uh, when it comes to a five-man team, I usually do 2-2-1, two, two, and then um, when you get to six-man team, I usually do 2-2-2, two, 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 or I might do three, two groups of three, or who knows, maybe no teams at all. So I'll send him next to the door, which will get me to see outside. So there's a sectoid, looking by himself, there's a meld canister, definitely want to get that. They do expire. 46, 47, let's try. Yeah, I missed, no big deal though. So I'll move him here. Now you want to be careful because some aliens, not the sectoids, but certain ones, have grenades. So if you cluster your guys too close together, a grenade could take out your whole team. It has actually happened to me once before, or twice before, maybe even. It sucks. Put him in Overwatch. Don't want him dying. He gets hit again. He's dead. But he's in Overwatch, so if I move anywhere within his radius, he gets a shot at me. 47% chance again. I'll take it. Missed again. Not super worried about it though. This guy has a shot. 45%. I'll try. You never know. I've hit on a 1% chance before. No, no shot there. I don't want to run him out because he'll get lit up. I'll put him in Overwatch for now. I'll send her over here. And then he only gets to go. He's going to change position. Back in Overwatch. What a dick. Okay. Going to risk it. Oh, game building failed. <laughs> No big deal, like I said, he's only, he was only the random, so I'm not going to sweat it. Oops, no. 48, only 48? Got him anyway. So I'm not going to restart losing some guy I hadn't named wasn't ranked. It'd be a waste of time. Excellent work, Commander. That should provide us with an ample supply of this substance for analysis. Well, everyone's in Overwatch. <laughs> Maybe I can... Someone can listen. Get a good listen check. Apparently not. So he's too far back. We'll move him up. And just overwatch these two for right this second. Actually, I'm going to have him reload. Uh, I guess run him in here. Boom! Hope you didn't need your windows. This is sort of bad because he's in my flank. 
Oh, that's my guy gets the reaction shot and kills him. Boom, game over. Nice. So that's what Overwatch can do for you. I'm a big fan of sending guys into Overwatch. I've seen some people stream this game, not so big into it. Well, you know, to each his own. It's Casey O'Carroll got promoted to support class. Supports are super awesome. I was hoping to get an assault, but they want me to launch one of my extra satellites. I'm gonna send it over to China. With this additional, so let's. Okay, well, can't apparently go back. But to come down a country, you can put a satellite over over them. Uh, but you can only have so many satellites, so you need satellite networks or nexuses, so you need to build those. But uh, super helpful for bringing down threat. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. So basically, she wants me to build a thing called an arc thrower and give it to one of my guys. And what arc throwers do is zap people with low health. Uh, they need to be three or less. With three health, it's a 7% chance it'll work. Uh, to 80, 190. Uh, and if it works, you zap them and you basically just stun them to the ground and you capture them. And then you can interrogate them later. Commander. Based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed... I just said all that. So, uh, to house the aliens, you need the alien containment area, so you have to build this, which kind of sucks because you use up a bunch of resources doing Thank you. so. Research lab. Come on. I don't care what she has to say. But she wants me to build an Arcthor, and you kind of have to do it. So, Arcthor it is. Ugh, I hate. I really don't like being in the game because you can't control what you do and where you go. Commander, we're picking up wide. Like I want to go to the barracks, but I can't. I'm actually going to save. Good save point, I think. So the satellite's now over China, which is awesome. You can see the Arctor counting down. Looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast move. If we scramble an interceptor now, So interceptors are the airplanes that you get to shoot down uh, enemy spaceships. Uh, you can upgrade them later to I forget what they're called, but they look like spaceships too. So since the alien ships in Europe, we have two Ravens at our disposal. We'll launch Raven One, which is just a nickname for the interceptor. And off it goes. And this isn't anything important, it's just a video clip. And you get like a diagram of what's happening. Later on you can control what he does, but for now not. So boom, you get shot down. Send hey, everyone's happy. And then you send the team out. So I'm going to edit this unit. Real quick. Every time I have a spot on my team, it's always uh, my roommate's name. I'm going to use his middle name, which is McHugh, for his last name. 
His, his name is John McHugh Hurd, or John from Two Ton Gaming. This is a uh, full name. Nothing too fancy. Change his armor tent to his favorite color. So I think I already passed. So I'm gonna get it this time. There you go. Boom. We'll also go to his loadout, change out his grenade for a med kit. So the color coding, I do color coding for two reasons. One, I I'll see that color and go, okay, that's Derek, or that's John, that's my support, that's my sniper. And not that I have anything against chicks, but I got way more dude friends than chick friends, so it's just easier to name them. Launch this mission. Begin the assault. Our target site is near the German border. Looks like the aliens went Which is different, because back in high school I had a bunch of chick friends, and this would have been way easier to do. I hope they stay clear. But I'm 26 now, well out of high school, still doing college. Got a bunch of guy friends, a handful of chick friends. That's a little personal. A little inside scoop on Mr. Chris Lumpy. Usually put my niece in the game too, she's used my backup support. Or uh my backup heavy rather. So you can kinda of tell by the ground how the ship crashed. You got the indentations that it went uh, that away. I'll move him up here. Looks like the crash site is nothing. Move him up a little further. Uh, sports can go quite a ways, and then there's a building that let them run, like, even further. That's pretty cool. We'll move the sniper up. Uh, move from here. So the goal is to get this guy a kill or two, and not get him killed. So it melds that way. I definitely want the melds, so I'm going to send these two people that away. I don't have an Arcthor yet, so I can't stun them and capture them. Only 45% chance, but I'm gonna try anyway. There we go, boom! Good kill. So I'm gonna move him up to here. He might go on a ship. Oh, he's charging. No ship. Swing and a miss, dickhead. So I'll move this guy up again. Let's go for two, shall we? Oh, only did two damage. So that's kind of shitty. Put him in Overwatch. We'll run John to full cover behind this thing. Which sucks, because now they have me flanked without even trying.
So that's a sectoid ability that gives them extra health and they do extra damage. I'm going to go for my guy not in cover. Three damage is a bunch of damage at this level. That sucks. We'll move him to here. Hopefully kill him. There we go. There's no real cover for my guy to go to, which sucks. So if you can sever this link, it should kill both of them. There's only 50% chance I'll hit him. I want to try it anyway, because I kind of have to. I only did two damage, so that sucks. But she's got eyes on no one, so that sucks. And... My rocket's not within range to do anything, so I'm just going to run him up. He's an Overwatch. He's no longer being uh, brain controlled or whatever. Just taking a shot at my sniper and missed. Heavy will take a shot. He'll connect. He missed. She missed. Oh, this is a lot of missing. It doesn't matter what he does, because he's not going to get close enough to do a shot. Send him into Overwatch. I'm going to shoot at my sniper. Missed again. There you go. Oh, uh, these things are made of pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. I'm on the move. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Oh, you're a real dick. She dead? No. So let's try 5% because he's actually really close to me. Boom, got him anyway. Which is actually negative for uh, snipers. And usually uh, I give my snipers really good sidearms uh, as soon as I can for close combat encounters. So. Hopefully my one guy got promoted. Probably didn't. Yay, two people got promoted. So now I have an assault class, which is awesome. The assault class serves as our front line. So this is gonna be me. I always have a me. The bolt swarm. Same shots no longer take up the primary. Oops. Reconsider shooting at or suppressing anything else. So I can shoot with him, and if I hit or miss, the person after me has a plus 10 aim, which is kind of cool. Bullet swarm means I can shoot and shoot again if I don't move. So if something's really close to me, I can shoot at them. And if I miss or if I hit, I can shoot again. I think is how I'm going to take him. I want him full offensive. So this sucks. Chris is out for 15 days. My support's out for 7. So I got a nav computer, some uh, new research I can do, and uh, something cool I'll show you. Welcome back, Commander. 
I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future. Uh, if I go to the situation room, you can go to the gray market and uh, things the gray market you can sell without having to worry about at all is damage items. No one wants them and you can't use them for anything. So I always sell the damage stuff. So boom. I'll go to the barracks. I'm going to look at officer training school. I can't buy anything yet. I think you have to have at least a sergeant on your team. I can't hire soldiers. I'm going to hire three. We've still got some room to grow up here. But if we really want to expand our facility, going to excavate. We're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. And we're going to build that. Which is a tunnel so I can get down to the next level. She's doing that. I'm going to save it and that's going to end part one of uh, this. If you want to s see more or have comments on my play style or whatever, let me know in the description below. Once again, I'm Chris from 210 Gaming. We'll see you next week with a brand new episode of this full play. I'll see you later, guys.